joining me. Today we'll be painting Chris Point Lighthouse, a little Northern Lights background. You don't need a whole lot to paint today. We've got six colors. We've got bright red, Christmas green, bright yellow, true navy, black and white. Um, I just use the Apple Barrel brand matte acrylic paint, but you can use whatever brand you want or whatever colors you want as long as you have red, green, blue, yellow, black, and white. Um, we use a few more brushes this time than we sometimes do. You will need, of course, your one and a half, two inch flat brush. You will need a smaller flat brush. We use this to fill in the tower. You will need a one inch chip brush and or a um, long handled, a stiff bristled hog hair brush. You don't have to have both of them. Either one will work for what we're doing today. I just like to have the variety of having both of them. You will need a, well you don't need, but it is optional to have a small flat brush. I use this for water lines. Um, if you'd rather use detail brushes for that, detail brushes are great. It's nice if you have quite a variety of them because we use them quite a bit today on the tower itself. And then of course, you can see we've got the little spatters with our northern lights, our little stars. Toothbrush works great for that. So that's all you need to paint along today and I really hope you enjoy painting this with me. Let's get started with our background. We're going to be doing a Northern Lights background for this. And it's, we're going to fill the whole canvas with Northern Lights. We're going to use, we're going to do kind of a greenish blue color and maybe some purple in there. So you're going to need some green, some blue, and some white on your plate. Make sure to give yourself plenty to work with, too. Lots of white. All right, we've got all those colors on the plate. We're going to start with the darkest color first, and I'm going to mix up the green and blue. And then once I get a color that I like, kind of a teal, a dark teal color, I'm going to dip a little bit into the white and then brush that on my plate just to see what that's going to look like. I, I like that color. I really do. So I'm going to stick with that. And I'm just going to start brushing straight down, right across the top of the canvas. And I'm going to let those streaks stay. I'm not going to try and blend those in and make those disappear. Those streaks are what give it that Northern Lights look. This is a lot easier if you're sitting down. You don't have to worry about the colors all running all over your plate. But I like to keep them somewhat separated. I mean, I mix a little bit in the middle, but I don't mix it all together, all, all of the colors all at once. That way I can go through and, you know, add a little more blue for one section or add a little more green separately. Now you can just go into straight white, put a couple little streaks in there. Now, whatever you do to the top, as above, so below. Because this is, we're going to have water here. There's going to be water right here. So we want a nice reflection. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom of the canvas. Now it doesn't have to mirror it perfectly. But we just want a basic idea. Just 
of similarity between the top and the bottom. So I just keep mixing as I go, I'm trying to get right in there to the bottom of the canvas. Now make sure too that you vary the height of these strokes so that you got some that have to go in farther up, some that aren't as far. And again, you can try and mimic what you've got going up top there, what you've got going on up top, but it doesn't have to mimic it, you know, perfectly. We're just trying to get the same basic colors, same basic idea. doesn't have to be perfect. And I just realized that I did not latch this in. There we go. And now covered in paint. There. That should work better for me. All right. Now for the second layer, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to add more white. I'm not even going to clean my brush. Just adding more white here. If you want to make it like greener or something, you can just add a little more green to that mixture that you had going and some white. And just play with the colors, have fun with it. Doesn't have to be all one color going across. You can halfway through switch it to blue. That's Have fun with the colors. And if you want some really bold streaks, just dip straight into that white. Just run some streaks straight up. And don't blend it. I'm going to blend it down here, but don't blend the streaks as they go up. Make sure you go all the way to the edge of your canvas, too. And make sure that all of your layers meet completely, because if they don't, you'll have white spots in between, and you don't want to have those. All right, now to the bottom. Just copying. A little green in there. Just feather those lines or those borders so that it's not a hard line. We want these dancing up into the other colors. Now as we get to the middle here, this is where we can start adding some purple if you want to. If you don't want purple, if you just want to keep going with these colors and filling it all with that, go ahead. If you want some purple, drop a little bit of red on your plate right next to your blue. You don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna get a little red and a little blue, make some purple, dip into my white and see what I've got here. One more red. And I know there is a little bit of green in the bristles of my brush. And that's okay, it's not, it's not gonna affect it too much because it's not a lot of green. It's mostly a bluish green anyway. It tends more to the blue because I've got so much blue in there. We're just going to put this little band of purple in here. I'm just 
Dipping into the purple and the blue, or the red and the blue, making a purple, and then into white. Now, if you'd rather that, like a pink color, if you did my um, home painting, we did the pink, you could do a pink like that. But you would want to wash your brush probably just to make sure you got a clean pink color because otherwise it's going to turn purple because of all the blue that's already in your brush. You can go through and just put some straight white in there. Streaks. Put some of that down here. And I'm going to put a, probably a blue strip right in the middle. I'm just going to fill in the second row of purple here. Oop. I'm just making sure my head wasn't in the way. <laughs> Again, make sure as you're going, you're not leaving any white spots of canvas showing through. And I'm just using a, a vertical stroke through this whole thing. If you would rather have diagonal, you can go ahead and do that. That's what we did for the home painting. It's a pretty look. All right. I'm going to add a couple more little white streaks up here. Also keep in mind, we are going to be putting um, the star spatters on this painting. So we will have little spatters all over this, and it will kind of help bring all of these different colors together. All right, I'm going to put a strip in the middle here, green and blue. Feather with the upstroke as well as with the downstroke. We want all of these borders to be nice and soft. I don't want hard lines. I don't want straight lines either. I want it to vary as it goes, kind of undulate. If you feel like you are having just too many straight lines, you can run right up into the colors you had working before. You don't have to stay in your lane. You can run right up into that purple. All right, so we've got some streaks in here. Make sure you've got all of your canvas covered all the way out to the edges, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, once you've got all of that in, we're going to get, if I can find it, an old toothbrush, not one you use, an old toothbrush to, we'll dip in some white paint and then we'll bend the bristles back and let go of them. That's <laughs> dried paint coming out. It's like a little smoke machine. <laughs> All right, so if you don't have an old toothbrush, which I find hard to believe, you can use a stiff bristled brush. And it's just the same technique, just any, any kind of brush that will flick like that. 
Okay. We want just straight white, which actually I've got a lot of white on this plate already. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into my rinse water and I'm just going to water it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix <laughs> spraying paint all over already. I'm just going to mix that water in a little bit. So it's a very watery white paint. The more watered down it is, the more it's going to splatter. If your paint is a little bit thicker, it's not going to splatter quite as much and the splatters are going to be a little bit globbier. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want as a fine spray, don't water it down quite as much. Now before I start doing this, pay attention to what's behind your canvas. Because if you've got something valuable back there, you might want to move it because it will get spattered. So I'm just going to start doing my white. Guarantee my paintings behind here are getting redecorated. Now you can put as many of these as you want or as few. If you want to make it look like the Milky Way is going across or something, you can, you know, keep it in one line as you go and just make them more concentrated in that one strip. But I like to just spray some all over there. Now be aware to watch out for how close you're holding the brush to the canvas because sometimes, and I've had this happen in classes, someone will be spraying the white paint and then they'll have a drop of white paint come off of their brush and bloop, go right down the canvas. So just be careful. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new classes.